Hello lovely people. I hope that you all are enjoying this beautiful day. It is so pretty outside. So, you know what? I'm gonna open the blinds. So, there we go. So today I wanted to talk about some things that are really important to me. Some things I've been thinking a lot about lately. And that is self-love, confidence, and being hopeful. Now, in my life, I have had so many ups and downs, you'd think it was a roller coaster. Okay, I'm going to be very transparent here. Um, you know, I have so many things to be thankful for, but I do remember there were definitely times in my life when there was nobody really there for me, um, or it felt that way. Um, and there were so many times when I wanted to give up entirely. And I feel like I've come so far, and... I wanted to basically share what I went through um, and some things that helped me um, with the things I'm going to be talking about today. Now, when we're at really low points in life, I want you to think of one point in your life where you were really in a bad place. You don't have to think about it too much, but just acknowledge it. So at that time in your life, did you have any support? Did you think to yourself, oh, things will get better, or did you think, things will never get better. It's these key things that can affect the outcome of how we end up after something really, really bad happens to us. And for me, there were definitely times where I was so low, I didn't think anything would ever get better. Um, but it's so important. Whenever we're at our darkest point, there's one word that can change everything. And we might not believe it, we might take it for granted in the moment, but that word is hope. And I love this word so much because it's such a simple four letter word, but hope can literally change everything. And let me explain that. So some of you that know me more personally, you know there have been traumatic things that I have experienced. And the one thing that got me through it is remembering hope. The fact of the matter is hope is what can change things from being really, really bad to overcoming them. Hope is the thing that reminds us this will not last forever. I like this analogy. When you're going through something really bad, it's kind of like this is just a chapter in your story. You have so much more story to tell, you know? You have so much more life to live. And I really like that. And I also like the ex expression like, you know, life is like a year. So there are seasons in the year, right? So there might be one season where the weather's not great. You know, there's a blizzard and everything just seems so empty and it's a really harsh winter, but the spring will come again. You know, like one of these days, the garden will flourish again and the sun will shine and the rain will fall and a rainbow will appear after all that, you know, and it's hard to remember that, but you know, there might be a tornado and you feel like it has destroyed everything in your path of life and you feel like nothing will improve, but you have to remember there will be another snowfall. You know, eventually there will be something beautiful that comes from it rather than just, you know, it will always be like this, you know? Things come and things go. And the word hope has really turned things around for me. It's just, being hopeful that can motivate us to continue going and not give up on ourselves. And going into that, I have really gotten, you know, so far with believing in myself. And for the longest time, I kind of just allowed people to treat me badly, I'll be honest. I kind of just thought this is just the way it is. Um, many times in my life, I was treated in a very unhealthy way by people. And I was still really nice to them, and I still... Um, we try to look out for them even though it was hurting me, you know? And what I've learned from that is that, you know what? I deserve better, you know? And so I want you to think of a time in your life where you finally realized, I deserve better. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be loved. And what really sparked that for you? So think of a time when it was kind of your breaking point, but in a positive way. You're like, you know what? No more. No more. And you wanted to stand up and say, you know what? I deserve better than this. I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be respected. I deserve a happy life. My future is mine, and you know what? I'm not going to let somebody that's mistreating me or a challenge stop me. 
So think about that time in your life where you overcame something and you're like, you know what? I deserve better. Think of that time. How did that make you feel? Probably pretty empowered. And if not, like maybe a little excited, like, wow, things can turn around. Or maybe a little nervous, like, how do I stop this from happening? Like, I know I want better, but how do I escape this? I feel really trapped right now, you know? So think about that time in your life and think about what really kept you going. Because for a lot of people, we we look back at our past selves and we're like, what was I thinking? You know, like you look back at yourself and you're like, what was I doing with my life? But then you also need to keep in mind, I had to get there to be here right now. Like I had to go through all these awkward phases and all these weird um, things and maybe possibly like traumatizing events to be where I am now. And is that an easy journey? Hell to the no. <laughs> but, um, but you have to acknowledge every stage of your life, whether it was good or bad, it made you who you are now, right? So we might have our regrets and things like that, but we have to realize it's those regrets that motivate us to change and improve ourselves. And with loving yourself, you have to kind of look at yourself not as an enemy and not as a person who's just gonna hate yourself and, and like don't, don't hate yourself, you know, don't look at yourself as something bad or evil or something. Look at yourself in the mirror every morning as a friend. Now, none of our friends are perfect, right? But we care about them, right? So treat yourself like a friend. And I've always said this since the get-go. It's like, if you hate yourself, you're going to be stuck with yourself for the rest of your life. So you might as well shape up and start being friends with yourself. And that's so true. Like, life is too short to just beat up yourself about every little thing. And in the past, I allowed myself to be mistreated. I tried to escape it. I reported what happened to me. But I remember being hard on myself saying, oh, well, maybe I deserve this. I did not deserve it. I did not deserve what I went through. It took me a while to realize that, but once I did, I'm telling you, I was like, you know what? You're right, I didn't deserve this. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be loved. And like, that was the most empowering moment for me because when you go through something that's really painful, you might start to lose confidence. You might start to lose, you know, self-assurance. And that's the one thing that can also keep you going because if you're like, you know what? I might not be perfect. I might've made mistakes, but I'm working to get better. I love myself, you know, I have all these abilities, I'm talented, I'm smart, I'm determined, you know, I'm hardworking, I'm caring, I'm compassionate, I have a big ass heart, you know, if that counts for anything. And so, you know, I have all these good qualities. And so why am I being hard on myself for the struggles I went through in the past when I was just doing my best, you know? And just remember like to Love yourself and encourage yourself to be even better. And another thing that's so important is surrounding yourself with people who are going to encourage you to not only be yourself authentically, but become a better you. So they love you the way you are. However, we're always changing and evolving and they want you to be the best you that you can be. Not just for them or to please them, but because they honestly want the best for you. And I thankfully have found my boyfriend is amazing. My friends are amazing. I love talking to them and they have really just really kept me going. And they have also allowed me to see, you know, that people can care. You know, for the longest time I kind of thought, oh, nobody cares. My dad also taught me that people can care. My dad was an amazing man. And uh, my mom's an inspiration as well. She's been through a lot and she stays right by my side. My sister is amazing, my grandparents, my aunt, my uncle, everybody, my cousins. And I just, I have so many things to be thankful for. And the word hope has reminded me, you know, there were times I was in the hospital, um, too many times. <laughs> um, but you know what kept me going? It's the people within the hospital that I actually became friends with, but it was also the people outside the hospital, all these people, telling me, you know what, things can get better for you. You have your whole future ahead of you. I remember there were, there were people like down every single path I've been down, even in my worst moments, who told me, you know what, you're really gifted. You have a bright future ahead of you. You deserve to be happy. Like you are a bright young woman and you have a wonderful voice or you are so creative and you can really make something with your life. And you know what's so interesting? Those people's words have stuck with me more than any of the hurtful words I've ever been told. And when we're on our deathbed, 
We're not going to remember the people who are abusive to us. We're not. We're not going to remember the people who put us down. We're not going to remember that bully back in third grade. We're not going to remember them. You know why? They're irrelevant. Yes, they did affect us, but guess what? We're stronger than them. We're stronger than the trauma we've been through. We're stronger than all these scars on our skin. What we are is a result of us conquering all that. Being strong enough to stand up and say, you know what, I'm going to keep on surviving. I'm going to keep on thriving. I'm going to keep on living my life and try to make the best of it. Even just breathing in the morning is an accomplishment. We are still here. We have a purpose, right? And because of that, the word hope has allowed me to really change my life around. And we're going to remember the words of our friends. We're going to remember the words of our loved ones. When we're, when we're on our deathbed, we're going to remember all the people who stuck beside us, all the people who wanted us to become better people, you know, all the people who saw our potential and said, you know what? You can do this. You can do this. It's those people that we'll remember, you know? It's our significant other who's always saying, believe in yourself. You can do it. You know, like, take that risk. You can really do amazing things. Or saying, I'm here for you. And, that, and like, the people that you look up to, the people that inspire you, you're like, wow, they're so amazing. You know, there's so many people in my life, they're always complimenting me and encouraging me, and I'm just like, what you saying? Like, look at you, you're amazing. And I'm over here, like, just existing. And then I see all my friends and my boyfriend and my family members blowing me away every single day, doing amazing things. I'm just like, why are you giving me all the credit? Come on now. Come on. You're pretty great. So it's just like, like what? You know? But yeah, it's those people who you look up to, like, how are you so amazing? Like, you have inspired me so much. It's those people who you will remember, who will give you hope and remind you to continue loving yourself. And being confident and becoming a better person is the thing that will allow you to have that hope that we all strive for. In confidence, when you walk through a door and you're just feeling good about yourself, you might make mistakes, you might trip and fall, but you're willing to become a better person and love that person who might not be perfect. The moment that you can do that is the moment that you have achieved so much. And I have finally learned through everything I've been through, I'm still here, right? I'm still standing, I'm still surviving, and I have my whole life ahead of me. The past, we can learn from it, and we have to learn from it and face it. But once we have, the present is ours. The present, we are making decisions right now. We are in charge, right? The future, some things we might not be so sure of. Some things are obviously completely unknown to us, and we might be a little scared of it. But remember this, the future is full of possibilities, right? So. Remember that word hope and remember how much power it possesses because there is so much hope in the world. And if we just kind of push ourselves to see what we're capable of or how things actually can get better, they probably will. They probably will. And um, that's just a beautiful thing because I don't know. It's just, it's just such a beautiful thing to me how life can turn around so drastically. It might take a while. You know, I, I've been through so many things. But guess what? My story is not over. It's not. I have my whole life ahead of me. I have so many people who are just so incredible. And I'm so thankful for them. I have... My talents, my music, my art, those are my outlets. Those are my passions. Those are my drives, and I love them. I have all these dreams, all these goals, and guess what? We can make them happen, and you guys can make them happen too. Also, think about some goals that you have, some things that you love to do, you know, some dreams, some people that keep you going, some people who you love, who are always there supporting you, rooting you on, like, yeah, you got this. Think about those people. Don't think about the people who sell this crap or, you know, treated you badly in the past. Because guess what? They're irrelevant. All that matters is you, your goals, and the people who are there standing beside you, allowing them to happen and supporting you all the way through. That's all that matters. 
So I want you guys to have an amazing day. I really hope that you all are doing well. Stay safe, take care. Love you guys so, so much.